This is the home stretch. As I said, to me, uh, this material is some of the most exciting uh, that we have because it's the most forward looking in many ways. Uh, the idea that you can uh, measure sentiment and related quantities via uh, methods other than studying text. So we've had some of that spun into the conference so far. Now we'll really get more into it with Scott Amex to start to talk about wearables. Thank you, sir. So, you know, I just thought of something, which is, I bet you the productivity in this building is incredibly low. And the reason I say that is, with a view like that, I mean, who's gonna be working? Come on, right? I won't be working. All right, so I'm really excited to be here and um, stopping by before I head on over to Korea to speak about the future of wearables on IoT. You know, being, being that it's summer, you know, it's a peak season for travel and vacations. And of course, we naturally see advertisements for cruises and, and, and vacation packages, right? So we're, we're not immune from that either. Um, now, typically we do travel overseas, but given that our agency has been so incredibly busy this year, we opted to not travel this year, but maybe the following year. And then I get this uh, email saying that, hey, Scott, we'd like for you to come to Korea and speak on the future of internet and wearables and how in particular smart garments and e-textiles are going to revolutionize not only clothing and fashion, but smart homes and even smart cities. And of course my wife says, can we go too? I said, yeah, you're gonna pay for your own flight ticket, absolutely, and bring the kids. Um, so she went ahead with uh, barely a nod from me and she booked the flight and the hotel to Korea and then she watches uh, you know, news and she finds out that the MERS epidemic in Korea has risen to a crescendo. So then she changes on a dime, literally, and, and rebooks and then heads over to Europe instead. So, so the question here is, and this is the, the point of today's topic is, why is it that when we weren't going to travel at all that we ended up basically booking a month in Paris, Europe with, with our family? Well. Certainly circumstances play a lot into that, but it also has to do with our human condition. See, when there's an ad campaign, when there's any type of brand engagement type of things happening, <laughs> it's not just your utilitarian needs. They are fundamental emotional drivers that are impacting and influencing our decision-making framework. Now, the real driver for us to travel is actually not vacation. I actually don't vacation. I'm one of those people that if people ask me, what would you like to do when you retire? I said, the worst thing I could think about is retirement. I'm in my 40s, I look a little young, but I'm actually in my 40s. And honestly, I love work so much. Oh, by the way, I like to work here, so my productivity dies. I love work so much that I can't imagine the retiring. So vacation is not something that I like to say. But we travel because we want our kids to be global citizens. So we spent the last two summers in Korea and then, you know, the real impetus was we want to expose them to something entirely different, to Paris, France, and that's where we went. And by the way, these are our kids in their elements. These are our kids out of their elements, and they happen to be at the Louvre in Paris. And my son, I don't know if you can see his eyes, but he looks a little quizzical, a little vexed. My son asked me, why are all the statues naked, Dad? Well, like any good intellectual father would respond, I told him back then, it was really, really hot. <laughs> and this, this is how, this is the emotional state of my kids after coming out of the museum. So imagine if you could register that, not just through emoji. All right, so let me go back to the agenda. All right, so what are we gonna talk about? Well, what are the challenges with today's brand engagement metrics? Okay, if you're in marketing or advertising, you know what they are. Let's, and then we're gonna also take a closer look at those categories of engagement metrics, particularly cognitive, emotional, physical, and behavioral. And specifically, the reason I was invited here to speak to all of you is 
how are wearables and IoT or the Internet of Things or everything, depending if you're Cisco and Intel, uh, are creating new dimensions of engagement metrics? And what about privacy implications? It's huge. You thought mobility was high? This is going to even further accentuate it. How are we going to systematically address it as an industry and at the firm specific level? And then finally, we're going to wrap it up with some key takeaways. All right, so problem statement. So we know that human emotions play a big part in driving behavior and purchase decisions. But the current tools and techniques don't really measure very well. So one example is something we call ubiquitous profiling, which has to do with online to offline journey. See, when your customers aren't looking at their laptops or their smartphones, do you know what they're doing? What, are, what brands are they engaging with? How do they feel about those brands? See, in the offline world, advertisers and marketers are, frankly, running in the blind. We have no idea what consumers are doing, let alone what they're, what's driving them. And frankly, this is the holy grail of integrating online and offline marketing. Doing away with proxies. The second issue is that we as marketers are working with soft metrics, like you know, for brand affinity, favorability, brand recall and engagement. Well, how do we start to achieve brand metrics? How can we achieve brand metrics without hardening our numbers? Let's talk about brand affinity. Research firms like Ipsos, it creates a composite score from recognition, attraction, presence, and polarization. And their data is based on an online view of say 5,000 or so US cons consumers that ranges from a wide spectrum from 13 to 74 using traditional market research methodologies and tools. Brand engagement. Robert Pasikoff of Brand Keys made this amazing statement on Forbes. I really like what he had to say about engagement metrics. Although most of the time, the kind of engagement involves counting time spent awareness, tweets, visit, 